am now um, having a feel of his shoulder area. Um, I'm just comparing the amount of slide that I'm getting. It's like I'm taking hold of the shoulder here, this the top end of the humerus, the head of the humerus, and I'm just sliding it around in the joint at the joint to see how much movement there is. And I'm going to compare that with what I get on this one. All the birds are different by feel. Uh, you know, examining a cockatoo is different from examining a, a you know, silver eye or a canary or a badriga. And one of the principles of, um, in this case is bilateral symmetry, learning um, and comparing those things that should be bilaterally symmetrical. Uh, there are exceptions to the rules such as the food pipe or esophagus running down the right side of the neck in the great majority of birds, the ovary being a single ovary in the great majority of birds and being on the left side but not on the right side and things like that and that's uh, and there are exceptions to the rules so we need to uh, to know our bird anatomy just quietly just quietly right. obviously it would be easy in routine regular veterinary practice just to um, put this bird under anaesthetic, say he needs an x-ray and to do your diagnosis based on x-rays and so forth. Um, I used to do that. These days I work more holistically and just quietly. Isn't that a magnificent wing? Gorgeous, Isn't that beautiful. beautiful? Now, just... lucky is not to have his wing clipped, eh? Hey? How lucky you yes. are, you don't know. You don't know how lucky you are. Yeah. So many poor cockatoos have their wings clipped. So you think he's a pet? No, I don't know that. Oh, okay. No, I'm, now, I'm just keeping his wing folded while I'm putting, raising his arm up now. So, um, and I'm ready to let go of the wing as I do this, but I'm now starting to manipulate the shoulder, or I'm about to start manipulating the shoulder around to see if I get any abnormal clicks or movements in there. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm calming him at the same time. Yes, there is a um, there is a, um, a slipping and sliding, not a fracture, but a ligament damage. So oh. this is clicking as a slip slide. If you want to feel it, Pat, you're welcome to come round um, and just put your hand where, put your finger where this, my ring finger is. Just ring finger there and just intermittently there is. Oh, oh you hear that? Mm. Right? Yes. Right. Okay. Mm. Right. But when he does, he when he, like when that. he, right. Now this bird has suffered a, um, a shoulder injury and while I've got, got his wing out this way we just, um, I'll just double check on the underside here just quietly, just quietly Pocky you're doing very very well boys and I'm just moistening down the feathers here a little bit so that we can check the colour for any bruising or anything like that I've already checked by feel, but we can visually see quite a lot and see if there's any bruising or inflammation or deformity along there. I'm not picking it up. So that part looks okay. So again, I feel the problem is up here in the shoulder region. However, there isn't a great deal of swelling up there. So 